In the 1950s, East German architects were invited to northeast Beijing to build a group of factories for producing military-grade electronics. The factories fell idle in the 80s and started becoming inhabited with artists, which eventually developed into the Beijing art district known as 798. An exhibition devoted to glass paper painting recently appeared with 15 artists from China and Korea participating. The artists are often asked, how is it made of glass? Glass paper painting refers to work with paint on one side of the glass, which people can see on the reverse side after baking. The pieces are often graphic works void of bright colors or a sense of space. However, the pieces shown at this exhibition differed from the existing traditions of glass paper painting. Sometimes they look like paper, while other times like oil painting. It's not oil painting on paper. It's a combination of 50% glass mosaic with 50% glass powder. It's difficult for oil painters to manifest solid, but the glass paper I made can manifest any color or solid that I want. Hong Yongshun has created his piece without high temperatures. He's exploring a new idea for painting with paper and glass. Where the cold, jagged glass meets the delicate paper, a synthesis of fashion and fun is revealed. My work is titled The Song of Flower. It mainly expresses how the flower praises nature through its own beauty. You might notice it from the painting, that the praise of the flower is just like the sense of rhythm and note. I also learned in the process that I shall have the heart of praises as well. The artists from the exhibition are all Huang's students. Most of them have studied and practiced the techniques for three years, and some have created outstanding examples of glass paper artwork. My work is the sunflower. It shows the sunlight and hope I pursue in my heart. In addition, I also want to bring more joy to others. There is also a strong flavor from China's many ethnic groups in several of these works. Each ethnic group has its own distinguishing features. During Huang's visits to various regions, he was so struck by the patterns he found that he began to apply them into his own works and teachings. Well, it's, it's very different. Um, um, I've, I've been to 798 for many times, but a lot of artifacts there, the paintings, they're kind of feel really weird, weird to me. And um, you just kind of have the bizarre feeling, but these paintings, um, you can see the, the warmth, the joy that the artists have, they try to convey in those paintings. So it really brings a lot of warmth to your heart. Glass art can be traced back to Egypt 4,000 years ago. It was first used in gem imitations or used in cylinders, dishes, vases, manufacturing, and mosaic pictures. Glass art also has a long history in China. China's modern glass art inherits and expands upon techniques perfected during Emperor Qianlong's long reign in the 18th century.